Kenny Rogers dies at 81, music legend. Country music icon Kenny Rogers, whose hits included Lucille, Lady and the Gambler, died late Friday at his home in Sandy Springs, Georgia, his family said in a statement. He was 81. The Houston-born country star had 20 no. Minus one hits and three Grammys and performed for some 60 years before retiring from touring in 2017 at age 79. Rogers didn't write most of his hits and often said he didn't consider himself much of a songwriter. But he told NPR in 2012 that he had a knack for picking songs that could draw in the listener. I've always felt great songs put you in a spot, put you in a place on a warm summer's evening, on a train bound for nowhere, he said. You know where you are, and from there the rest of the song plays, out. The Gambler would become a worldwide hit in 1978 and turn into Roger's calling card. He always joked, however, that he wasn't much of a gambler himself. The song will now be a poignant tribute. But Parton once told Rogers she would never be able to sing at his funeral. Rogers' family plans a private service out of concern for the national COVID-19 emergency, the statement posted early Saturday read. The family plans to hold a public memorial at a later date.